Today we'll do a gastronomic tour, a foodie tour, for both you and your little ones to enjoy to the fullest. Normally we don't plan to do a food tour with our kids and it's worth taking it into account because kids generally enjoy tasting new dishes and products. It can be an interesting experience for them. This tour can be done in one hour and a half, more or less. It's short because when we travel with children, I think that less is more. It is better, little and good than much and bad. We will see, we will sit down in two restaurants tasting delicious stuff. We will walk through the Boar district that is full of interesting corners and we will learn Barcelona's history. Actually, today's chapter, this is a, a small series of two chapters about food. This one and another one that I'm preparing for you for next month, which will be a tour to taste chocolate. We will talk about hot chocolate, churros. Churros, it is a local sweet, delicious as well, and other de deliciousies. So, if you are ready, let's go there. I am Jose Gomez, official license guide and founder of Looking Barcelona, a company where I provide guided tours to discover this wonderful city. And besides all of this, I have two children and a woman who love to discover places and to learn interesting things about the city. So in this podcast, I want to share with you some of the places in Barcelona where the most I have enjoyed with my family. So if you're ready, let's go. We begin uh, our tour in the Bor district. Of course, Bor is completely different than in English verb to Bor. Bor is a local word to say a place where centuries ago were held tournaments and games between nights. You know, that kind of games that two nights fight against each other. And in they, they were held in Bor area. This area was founded around the 12th century and it was a place where fishermen, merchants and families of the high nobility lived. All lived together. As I said earlier, we'll visit two tapas bar and on the way between one and the other we will pass through very beautiful places. But first of all, I wanted to tell you one thing, an important thing. The bar that I'm going to tell you about today, in February 2021, are places that I like and I think that in them you will have a good time with your little ones. But you already know that restaurants, sometimes they change owners and the quality sadly also change. I like to tell you that Uh, I don't receive any type of commission of them. They don't pay me or anything to talk about them. They are simple places that I want to share with you. So if you want to visit them, first of all, I recommend you take a, take, take a look on internet, check the schedules and look at the photos in case you think they can be adapted to, to you. I also suggest you that you call before going because sometimes in high season you have to reserve you have to book a table and now if you're ready we can start the the tour our we start the tour in Argenteria street the closest metro is Jauma the first it is the yellow line i'm going to leave you all these places that i'm going to talk to you about writing in the notes of the program. In, in that way, if you want to do the tour, it, it will be easier for you. Don't worry, all will be writing in the notes. Argenteria Street owes its name to the fact that in the Middle Ages, the craftsmen who work with silver were installed there. There was a custom in, at that time when someone visited the city The custom was to buy a small silver gem and then give it away. Today, in this street, there are charming hotels, fashion stores, and also 
our first stop at the number 62. The restaurant is called Sagardi. In fact, it is a chain of Basque cuisine restaurants. The Basque country is a region in the north of Spain characterized by charming people and excellent gastronomy. There is a great culinary tradition. In fact, today there are four restaurants with three Michelin stars. The Sargardi Born restaurant is located on the ground floor of a very old house. I mean, a very um, antique house made of large stone blocks that date back to the construction of the neighborhood many centuries ago. The restaurant overlooks a small square where chairs with tables are installed are, are installed there are there. If you are going with kids, I recommend you to sit down on the terrace. So if they suddenly feel like running or chasing a pigeon, they have a free hand. Another thing I recommend you, if you want to go out for tapas with children or to go out for food, for, with children is not to go out late. That's important. In that way, you will have two advantages. The first one, you will avoid rush hours, so they will be able to serve you faster. And the key point, if you go with your children, generally the little ones, they don't like waiting in restaurants. So if they start to complain because they want to eat now, they don't like they, normally, that's true that they don't like to wait. Sagardi, they are specialized in montaditos. Montaditos comes from the Basque country cuisine that consists of a slice of bread with a delicious stuff on top and everything crossed by a cocktail stick. It is very important to keep the cocktail stick. Why? Because tradition says that to pay, we have to count the cocktail sticks that we have, the montaditos, are served on plates at the counter and we serve ourselves. You can take a plate and you can take as montaditos as you want. It is, a, it is amazing to see all those dishes on the counter filled with such appetizing morsels. The color of these dishes and the smells are a spectacle. The children love montaditos with chistorra. Chistorra is similar to a fried chorizo. Those with ham as well, the variety is very large. I suggest you to take the ones you like the most on a plate and sit down on the terrace and to enjoy the atmosphere. And after, we can continue on towards the Greek church you will see right in front of you. It is the Basilica of Santa Maria del Mar that it is the Madonna of the Sea. The people, people of this area worked together centuries ago to build this majestic church in the 14th century. The interior is open and sober. We surround the church outside and we arrive to La, to La Plaza. A plaza is a square. It is a square located at the back park part of the church. The so-called Paseo del Bor, a board walkway. It is a rectangular square where knights used to play tournaments centuries ago. We, we, we were speaking about that earlier in the Middle Ages. Today, there are many cocktail bars and nice shops. We continue to the left and we arrive to Moncada Street. And pay attention because in to our right appears the narrowest street in Barcelona. It is called Al Carré de las Moscas, the street of the flies. That's the translation. Get closer with the little ones. Ask them if they can see any fly flying. In fact, the street is called like that because often there are many fly, they, this, disoriented flies flying around. The street is so narrow that they can't find the exit. And on your left, you will see another street. It is called Carré. Carré is a street. Carré dels sombreres, which in Spanish means 
the street of the hatters, the people who work with hats, people who made hats in honor after of, of a guild that was installed here. I'm going to leave you yes all these names writing, don't worry. And if you want if you walk a few meters you will come to the Gispert store. Gispert store created in 1851 that was about 130 years ago. It, it it's worth entering. I there is a very antique oven where they roast their own nuts. It is very beautiful in addition to the original furniture. I love the smell of firewood from the oven that mix up with the smell of chocolate and spices that you can find in the shop as well. I recommend you buy some toast almonds or a slice of orange with chocolate. They are exquisite. I'm sure the kids will love this place. We continue on along, along the Moncada Street. Moncada Street was the place where wealthy families lived in the Middle Ages around 13th, 14th century. Both on the right and to the left, you will see, you will find many magnificent houses. If you look up, you will see, you will distinguish the typical Gothic gargoyles. Gargoyles are a myth, the mythological animals condemned to be outside. They used to represent evil. Normally, the little ones are very interested in gargoyles, trying to recognize which animals are depicted. Picasso Museum is located on this street. It occupies five of these houses. Besides the Picasso Museum, there are, you can find other museums and private houses as well. The courtyards of the museums are free accessible. I recommend you entering the courtyard of the Picasso Museum, which, in fact, it connects five different courtyards. The other ones can run a bit in the patios and the courtyards and enter some of the rooms where the stables were located. Also, toilets have free access in case you need them. And the next place where we stop is La Puntual Winery at the number 22 on Calle Moncada, Moncada Street. It is a restaurant with typical Catalan food. Upon entering, you will see some tables where people used to eat and drink, standing up at, and at the end, they have a living room with tables and seats where you will be more comfortable with the children. The decoration is a, a typical traditional tavern. You can order the menu. My children love Iberian ham croquettes and the patatas bravas patatas bravas they are potatoes cut into a cube and fried they come with a garlicky and a spicy sauce ask them to put the spicy sauce at the sides it may be maybe it's too spicy for the little ones but for for me it's delicious but different opinions of course and also they have a delicious uh, octopus cut into small pieces with a parmentier sauce. The parmentier sauce is like a cheesy mashed potato sauce and it can be a little bit of nutmeg. For dessert, I suggest you chocolate, hot chocolate. And also they have chocolate with salt and olive oil. The name is Sal and Oli. I'm going to explain you. It is a typical Catalan dessert that reminds me of my childhood. So, this is a slice of bread with a piece of chocolate the, and a little bit of olive oil. The extra virgin olive oil combines very well with hot chocolate. You can prepare it at home. Toast a slice of bread and put a bit of chocolate on top. Let it melt a bit. Splash of extra virgin olive oil and two grains of salt. 
Maybe it can be strange to you, but here, here it is very typical. Uh, I do it for my children for a snack, and they love it. In the menu, there are more appetizing stuff, so many things that you will enjoy, and you can choose it. But remember, for children, croquetas and patatas bravas, and maybe octopus if they like. And well, ladies and gentlemen, this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed this program. And remember, if you want to visit Barcelona and you, you'd like to try a guided tour, write me. I have different tours where you will discover this amazing city. I leave you my email in the notes of the episode of the program. I wait for you very soon in another podcast. And don't forget to be happy. Adios. Adios.